good morning guys welcome back or welcome to my channel today I kind of have a lot planned today and so I figured I would just like take you guys through it but there's gonna be like a theme I guess and it's just plants um yesterday I filmed me potting some new plants that I got so just putting them in their actual pots instead of the little plastic ones they come in so I will be showing you guys that video later on in this video but I just wanted to talk to you guys and show you guys like my plants I have quite a few and then I also had an idea to start a compost pile so I actually have a bunch of stuff ready to put in a compost pile but I was going to kind of film you guys me film me making it like starting it actually for you guys today um so yeah it's already it's not even 11 o'clock and I've honestly had a pretty productive day um I woke up early as usual like 6 30 and I made Jared's lunch and I made his breakfast no he didn't have breakfast today he didn't want breakfast today um I made his lunch and I cut him up extra fruit because he didn't have breakfast and then I cut up the rest of the fruit so I cut up watermelon and cantaloupe and strawberries and I cut up celery because we have celery for their salads and all of the trimmings from it I was just like I usually I would dump it out like outside of our yard in the wash area desert area for the birds or like birds and bunnies and all kinds of things like the desert animals I usually want to take that to them and I just dump it outside of our yard so they don't come in our yard but then they can eat them there and then I started to think like oh my goodness I should make a compost pile because I've been wanting to like start a garden anyways but I live in the desert and so the soil here is like it's not soil dirt um and so I just wanted to start making some better soil and so I was going to do these compost and like I've done a lot of research on compost before and my grandmother used to have compost because she had she has had chickens in the past and so she would collect all of the scraps and give them to the chickens and then that would turn into compost in their coop whatever they didn't eat you know and so yeah I was just like I kind of have a a little bit of experience with this a little bit I'm always open to constructive criticism so if you guys have any like suggestions for me starting this please leave them in the comments below because I'd love to know but yeah I figured I would show you guys my composting stuff I would give you guys a tour of my plants um, I'd show you that video I took of me plant potting the two plants um, yeah it's it's kind of gonna be a full day I might if I have time, depending on how long compost the starting the compost pile takes, um, I might do my recycling. So I'm just gonna like separate out my recycling. I've always recycled. That's not new, <laughs> but um, yeah, just kind of like a earth friendly eco video. I thought that'd be really fun since, like I said, I do love plants. Like I'm constantly looking at plants and wanting more plants. And as soon as like I feel comfortable with it, and, like I have plants that I know because I don't want to make permanent marks in my I want to hang plants okay first thing I want to hang my plants but I want to know where I want to put them first because I don't want to like I don't want to go through the process and then like oh I don't like this so I'm kind of working on planning on hanging plants I want this whole place to be like a jungle a cozy jungle that's my vibe I'm so into it I'll actually I'm going to put a picture right here of like my inspiration because I have an a-frame you see if you've seen my room tour you know we have an a-frame like ceiling and I want my room to look like this this is my ideal goal it would be perfect um you don't think it's gonna happen because you know like we have it's a very narrow but long space and so we don't have that much wall space that is parallel to like play off of kind of like how that picture has it has like it's just so pretty I want to do it so okay um I think that's it for this rambly intro I'm just gonna get started first things first I'm gonna show you guys the plants that I have up here um I'll just walk you through that and I hope you guys enjoy bye so I actually decided to show you guys me potting my two new plants first. Um, I originally was talking for this clip, but it was way too windy and you couldn't even hear anything I was saying. So here, just enjoy me struggling to pot them. It was a mess. <laughs> now I'll get back to showing you the rest of my plants. It's kind of hard to see with this window behind, but this is cilantro. It's a little sad right now because we like trimmed it down just to give it, we were hoping to like 
give it some strength but it's just kind of it looks sad right now um this is serrano peppers which we're we're growing nicely this is a gladiolus flower so this is like the gladiolus and then these are those little three ones this one didn't plant or didn't root i guess but um those are gonna be wildflowers and then here this is one of the ones that i got yesterday it's really really hard to see with this window behind but yeah that and then if you go on the other side of the stairs here is one of our vines um it's pretty long this vine strand is going down the stairs and then we have some of it that's going around this pillar that we have so oh samson <laughs> so yeah love that this whole area is just super cute i just love it okay here is my snake plant um yeah i just got this one yesterday as well you probably saw my uh struggle when i was planting that or potting it this is i don't know what the exact name of it is but her name is pepper um well pepper when she was a little plant and then now she's pepperoni because she's getting bigger and her leaves are kind of like succulent e that's what they feel like at least in my opinion um but yeah it's just like i think it is a uh, like a type of succulent I don't know I have a plant app that I kind of use to look at this and I believe it said it was a sort a type of succulent but I'm not sure okay so over here we have my other vine and so we have one vine that's going down here and again we're just trying to get them to branch out and then we have this one that's just going over the fish tank it's totally growing towards the sun which I love um this is my plant Phyllis she is a peace lily she's probably one of my favorite plants don't tell the others but um yeah I just I love how big and leafy she is she's just leafy leafy if you know the reference please leave it down below love that love that show um but yeah I love love this plant she's pretty and then looking back here that is oops sorry tv um that is spinach and oregano two things that were also grew from seeds and we love them i literally will pick off some of the spinach and put it directly on jared's sandwiches or like on my breakfast sandwich today i had a breakfast sandwich with the spinach on it it was so good so that those are those plants lots of green there's my fish tank that looks dirty it's just because the light's off when i turn the light on it looks better there we go see it's still dirty but we need to get an algae eater for it then we'll go back over here you can see my slippers and then this is my sad plant um i accidentally left her outside her name's dracula or i guess his name's dracula but i accidentally left it outside and it got totally sunburned but when you feel the leaves like they are not dry there's some where's the one that was dry and dead this one right here dry and dead you can hear it crinkle these ones they still have some give to them and as you can see there's green coming out so i think the new life just needs to come and love it <laughs> so it's in the shade she's staying away right now she's staying happy and healthy and out of the sun so that is all of my plants up here but i do have some downstairs and outside that i'm going to show you guys right now so this is outside in our backyard we just have this rose bush that my landlord he has rose bushes out front so we could have just planted it with them Oop, his dogs are barking at me um but we just wanted to keep this one so that when we do like get our own place of our own we can plant it and move it wherever because my mom gave us to the gave me this when um i was in the hospital hosp oh my goodness she gave it to me when i was in the hospital with carlisle rose and so she gave me a rose bush because you know um so yeah i just wanted to make sure i can keep this and move it with me wherever i go that's a little bit better in focus sorry guys it's just as I'm recording, if I'm moving around, it's kind of hard to stay in focus. It's just this camera. I'm trying to get a new one. I'm working on it. Um, but yeah, so that is that. So this is on our windowsill downstairs in our bathroom. I just have this mason jar and then this long like pot thing, I guess, with four. Um, and then this is not ours. That's my landlord's. But those are all just like the vines that we have upstairs. Um, but we started them off as babies. We just cut off some branches and stick them in soil and they started new plants this is kind of where we want to do the garden it just needs to be cleaned out from all these from all this wood and stuff but yeah it's super nice 
I'm going to start by clearing out some of the wood um, and just like those pieces over there. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but yeah, I'm going to clean all that out first. Hi guys, so I just finished doing the compost pile as you saw in that clip. Um, there's a bee flying around me. I've had two, so I just picked up my other camera, but the battery died, so I'm on my phone now. But um, I picked it up and there was a spider on it and it like had me freaking out. I almost threw my camera, but I'm smarter than that, so I didn't. But I just did the compost pile. Obviously, it's going to like continue to get bigger and better and stuff. I just wanted to make a hole and put the produce in it and then kind of cover it with dirt a little bit and then I added in some of the like weeds and stuff that I was raking up from that area because that is where we're going to do a garden eventually but it's obviously not ready yet it has a while to go and I can't do it by myself so a lot of it we're going to be doing on weekends with Jared and his friends and stuff so that's the plan but I want to just show you guys the while I'm outside I want to show you guys the plants that I have out here and I love them I'm like I'm super excited because yesterday when I was trying to film this video there was like not much update there's update today we have a little bit of growth so I'm gonna show you guys that right now so starting with the not as exciting stuff, these are bell peppers and jalapenos. Um, they were from actual vegetables, so I don't know, I don't even know if the seeds are going to work well because they weren't like dried out or anything. They were a little dried out, but not like as much as you get when they're in a pack. Um, so there's no sprouts yet, but it could take a while. We did, we did these a couple weeks ago, so I mean, I'd expect something already, but nothing. These are just like dead leaves. It's not sprouts, don't worry, but... Yeah, I don't know. We're kind of holding out our hope for those. And then if you go over here, you can see we have a lemon tree that also has like random leaves in it. Like that's not anything. There's no growth here either because I mean, I wouldn't expect a tree to grow that fast. This one, I'm expecting it to take a lot longer. And that's why it's in a pot because eventually we want to be able to like put the, our lemon tree at our own house, like plant it kind of like the same with our rose bush. So that's, this is an eventual plant by ourself. And then these two pots also have the same setup as upstairs. They have the gladiolus and then they have wildflowers. So this one, you can see a nice gladiolus like sprout and then you can see one little oops my hands in the way you can see one little like wildflower sprout right there i don't see any others but then this one yesterday had absolutely nothing and now look at you can see the little gladiolus right there and then actually just now i'm seeing if you see in my shadow right there is a tiny little wildflower the little green right right there <laughs> um there's little growth I didn't even see this bit this morning that is new but this I saw this morning and it made me so excited this one was taking a while she's a late bloomer but she's cute we love her so yeah if you can see oh there's Sam's and he's dyed from helping me but you can see like my my landlord has some really pretty roses and stuff like it's it's a beautiful house we have like trees and that's the section over there where I'm doing the compost so that little like enclosure that's what I just had like you guys filmed in on frame but yeah it's a really nice house these are my um roommates and that's my water cup but those succulents are my roommates and then they have a bunch of other little sprouts up there we're all kind of just like plant people so i love it okay um that's it i'm gonna close on a video of samson <laughs> bye bye samson say bye okay so i'm back upstairs and samson is downstairs i was about to let him in but uh if you saw in the composting clip, he was playing in mud and dirt and he is so filthy. I was not planning on giving him a bath today, but I guess I probably should have because I knew I was going to be outside. But um, the other thing that I was planning on doing today doesn't, it's not like super on theme with this video, but I wanted to do like my recycling. I already do. I always do my recycling, but um, 
I wanted to separate it out and because right now we kind of just bundle it all and pile it in one area and before I take it to a recycling center I like to like just separate it out and condense it so like crushing all the cans crushing all the bottles all that kind of stuff and then it's all separated so that when we get to the recycling place it's just so much quicker so I think that's what I'm going to do right now because I'm kind of like out and I've taken a break from watching my TV show, which is great, <laughs> but um, I've been literally watching Netflix like all day. Oh my gosh, my arm hurts from holding my camera. Okay, um, I've been watching TV all day, so I am I want to be outside a little bit, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and figure out how to set it up and I'll take you guys along with me. My camera is super shaky. I apologize. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> is to separate it all and condense it all and I'm sorry about the dishwasher back there that's our old dishwasher that doesn't work and so my labor is still getting rid of it I'm going to condense it all and organize it all so please do not come at me for the plastic trash bags we are working on getting like like reusable like bins you know we just haven't got them yet Please, I'm doing my best one thing at a time. Also, I just wanted to add that we do not use single-use water bottles anymore. Our roommates do, so we recycle them. But we refill big five-gallon jugs and use like a pump thing to get our water. So, that's not us. <laughs> So I have Delilah with me. She's a little camera shy. Um, I just finished with all the recycling stuff and now I'm going to give her and Samson a bath, but first her, because Samson's still outside with the pugs. Hello. You hate me. She doesn't want to look at the camera. She's so cute though. Okay, let's go. You guys enjoyed this video. It's just kind of fun. You know, I love my plants and I'm trying to be better about like taking care of them and keeping these alive so far. I've been really good, but I hope you guys just enjoyed this fun little kind of random video. Um, if you guys did like it, please like, comment, and subscribe and share my videos. Um, if you have any comments or like help, advice about a compost pile or my plants or anything, leave it in the comments below. If you have plants or if you just love plants, leave that in the comments below and do you name them? Because I name mine. I love naming them. I don't have names for all of them, but if you have any suggestions for names for any of my plants, leave them down below. If I didn't say the name of the plant, then I don't have a name for it. So I only have like three names probably, but still, just let me know. Leave comments. Like, interact with me, please. I want to interact with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. 